Hey everyone, this is Lance Madsen, creator of AimPad Technology here at the Cooler Master Studios. Today we are taking a look at ControlPad and how to leverage the power of Steam integration. Now you might be asking yourself, what is Steam integration? So Steam integration is basically taking an analog controller and adding it as the official Steam controller so that you can leverage any capabilities or functions that the Steam controller has but make it possible on ControlPad. So once you've added the control pad to Steam, it then allows you to leverage all of its functions and features. So one thing we've been hearing from Kickstarter backers is that sometimes when you press the analog key in, it's not responding right at the very top of the press, and you're kind of losing some of the, the control that you might be expecting. So the reason why this happens is that game developers will add a dead zone, or basically a, a space in that the uh, analog movement where they don't want to have any unintended movement to occur. Uh, now, Control pad does not have this limitation. It doesn't have an analog stick, and so there's no reason for this dead zone. So we can actually overcome this, this issue. But first, let's take a look at what it might look like in a game that uh, where we're not compensating for this. So when I barely just push this in this analog key, I'm not getting any type of analog movement or response, and it feels a little bit laggy, like it's, it's not responding the way I would expect. So what we can do is go into the Steam configuration, and then we will click on Joystick Move and Additional Settings, and there's this option for Output Anti-Dead Zone. And we're going to increase that to about 20 or 30 percent because in this game there's about a 20 to 30 percent dead zone that the game developers have added. So what happens is when we just barely push the key in, it will jump out to that 20 to 30 percent value, and you'll immediately get a response. So we'll go ahead and click back and done. And now when we push the key in just a little bit, you'll see it immediately starts to move, and it feels much more responsive much more accurate, and it gives you a much better user experience. So this is nice because the settings that you set up might dif be different from one game to another, but each of the settings that you set up for those specific games will apply every single time you open up those games. So that you don't have to worry about profiles and things like that. It'll I'll follow you all the way around whatever games you start to, to play. Uh, now this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's many more things you can do with the Steam integration. And in games that require you to press Shift to sprint you can actually bind forward movement and shift to the same key so that when you bottom out, your character will start to sprint. You can adjust the sensitivity to have more control at the top or the bottom of a key press, like in driving games, and you can have it be more or less sensitive at the start of a turn. You can adjust key activation types, like long press or double press or release press or bench press or... Bench press? Anyways, you get the point. There's lots of things you can do with Steam integration that just would not be possible by itself. And we think that the, the potential can be truly unlocked on what can be done with ControlPad by adding it through Steam integration. So hopefully this video has been useful to you and you can find what you can do to make ControlPad even more awesome than it already is. If you like this video and want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.